In the time it takes to read the front page headlines and look over the local news, you could finish the best breakfast deal in town. Bob Evans Breakfast Breaks at $2.99 and under. Big news for number nine, all new breakfast sandwiches. Three of them like our new sausage bagel and a new number three corned beef hash. Ten breakfast, $2.99 and under. You won't go hungry at Bob Evans, won't go broke either. Come on in for a breakfast break. Bob Evans at breakfast time. Hey guys, today we are here at Bob Evans. A little windy out here today though. We're gonna go in here and try their new fall menu. They have one for lunch and they have one for dinner. We're gonna order one breakfast item and one dinner item and show you everything that is available on the fall menu. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. It's apple season, caramel, apple topping, apple berry splash. It's kind of what we're here for. We've gone over this restaurant several times, so we're not gonna walk around it, but I will show it to you. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon on a Friday night. Not real busy in here yet. All right, we're not gonna go over the whole menu. We're just gonna show you the fall items. Celebrate apple season from the crate to your plate. Starting off with the new Caramel Apple Farmer's Choice. Serve with hash browns, home fries, or fresh cut fruit. You get three griddle buttermilk hotcakes topped with roasted apples, caramel, powdered sugar, and whipped topping. Caramel apple French toast with breakfast meat. It's the same as the one above, except you get two slices of thick cut brioche French toast with roasted apples. $10.59. Next, we have an apple berry splash for $3.89 and double crust apple pie a la mode. If you want to slice with the ice cream, $4.78. If you just want to slice, $3.79. Or you want to take a whole one home, $12.29. There is your apple menu. Now let's go to the barbecue beef one. The new Rancher barbecue beef. There's a new flavor in town. There's your first option. That's what I'm getting for $12.99 braised and barbecue beef layered atop crispy baby potatoes, real cheddar cheese, bacon, and ranch dressing, drizzled with sweet and smoky barbecue sauce and topped with a thick cut onion ring and green onions. They have a Rancher barbecue beef burger, 100% Angus beef patty, and it's topped with braised and barbecue beef, American cheese, ranch dressing, and a thick cut onion ring on a toasted brioche bun with deli pickles, $11.99, served with french fries. And last, the new Rancher Barbecue Beef Mac and Cheese, $12.49. It's braised and barbecue beef, crispy bacon over our creamy mac and cheese, topped with real cheddar cheese, thick cut onion rings and green onions and drizzled with ranch dressing. And they have a couple new sides. The Rancher Crispy Potatoes, those are baby potatoes topped with cheddar cheese, bacon, drizzle with ranch dressing, and finished with fresh green onions. And onion rings, thick cut onions battered and fried to crispy perfection, served with ranch dressing. And here are your desserts. Back in season, pumpkin pie and double crust apple pie. There they are guys, so there is your fall menu. Now the two new sides we showed you, you can upgrade on your meal to them for $1.29 more. Here's the apple berry splash, a refreshing mix of pomegranate and 100% apple juice. When we first brought it out, we thought it was the wrong thing because it's a lot darker looking than the pitcher. I get a lot of the apple juice flavors, very sweet. I do get a little bit of the tartness from the pomegranate. It's like a dark purple. Hard to tell what like color this. it is. Now, you do not get refills on this because it's considered juice. $3.89. Maybe I'll try it real quick. So Bobby's a big fan of cranberries. I 
That's what a pomegranate, I guess, tastes a little like that. There we go. Now, I get mainly the apple juice flavor from that. That's a pretty sweet drink. Might get a little tartness, but mainly sweetness. Pretty decent, worth $4. I don't know, you can decide. All right, guys, let's take a look at the food. The new Ranchers barbecue beef. You can see the baby potatoes in there. The new item on the menu, the onion rings on top and some barbecue sauce. Dinner rolls, there's Bobby's caramel apple pancakes with some whipped topping and those roasted apples. Couple sausage patties, scrambled eggs, and hash browns. When you compare the two meals, I know mine looks a lot bigger, but for $2 more, you could get the eggs and the hash browns. So we'll eat that tomorrow for breakfast. Now what Bobby's talking about, I didn't show. At the bottom of this caramel apple French toast, it says you can also get four caramel apple hotcakes and a breakfast meat for $9.99. She could have got that, but we decided to add on the eggs and hash browns for $2.19 more. Got a good bit of caramel sauce on it. Some butter, I don't really need that. I ordered the three fluffy pancakes. Golden brown. Look at all those apples that are on this. Get one right here. And some of the pancake. Some of the caramel sauce. The buttermilk pancakes are very good. Light and fluffy. We'll try one of the apples by themselves. The apples are tender. They're not too soft. You see my fork can go through them. I like the cinnamon flavor that you get with it. They're sweet. But the caramel sauce really adds to this. And they put a lot on there, especially Dude, right that, there. Caramel. I did ask for syrup, but I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, just in case. But you know what? I will use the syrup on my sausage. Oh, I like syrup on sausage too. Now, I could have got the links or the sausage patties. The patties are always my favorite. The sausage is very good. I like the seasoning that's in the Bob Evans sausage. It's always my favorite. Got the, the caffeinated coffee, because I have to have coffee with pancakes. I did try the hash browns. They may not make it home. I like the crunchiness around the outside of the potatoes, but then you get the flavor of the potatoes. They're a little bit softer. They're not real greasy either. I like those, so those definitely won't make it home. Just take a look at my meal here the new side item of onion rings. Now this is pot roast. Now Bobby loves Bob Evans pot roast. That's what they're using there. Braised, it should be pretty tender. Let's just try this by itself before we mix it in with the potatoes. That's very tender. That's where the braising comes in, where they mixed it in a little bit with that liquid. The chuck roast, which is normally a tougher piece of meat. How about looking at that, how tender it is. Now, let's get one of these potatoes. Put some ranch on there. Get some of the beef. And a little bit of cheddar cheese on there. And let's get an onion. <laughs> we got it all now. Now let's try it all together. First thing I could taste was the potato. The skin is pretty soft. And it's a little sweeter potato. The thing about a new potato, there's more sugar in there as it gets bigger, turns to starch. But still, the tenderness of that beef comes through. Tastes a little bit of the barbecue sauce. I probably would have liked a little more on there. A little sweetness. I know it's sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. I get more of the sweetness, probably because the potatoes mixed in. Then a little bit of that cool ranch. It's a good meal. I'm happy with it. It was $12.99, but I'm gonna try an onion ring by itself. Take a look at one of their new side items onion rings. There's the thick cut onion inside of it. Just gonna take a bite of it and see what I think. It feels pretty crispy, not overly crisp though. Now the crispiness was just like it should be. The onion's not real strong flavor, which it shouldn't be because it's fried up in there. I like the batter, especially the crunch of the batter. That's pretty good. I think these are six dollars if you want to order them as a side or if you want to add on as a premium. I think it's a short what a dollar twenty-nine or something extra to add them. Well worth it. And we also got a dinner roll. Let's crack this open. One thing I noticed is very soft. These are baked fresh here daily. Let's go for it. 
Wow, those are so good. You don't even need any butter with them. So I will be eating all this without butter. You can tell they are freshly baked. I want to try this because I do like pot roast. That is very good. The meat is tender. I think it had plenty of barbecue sauce on it, but I had some bacon pieces in my bite. I didn't get any bacon in mine, so I went looking for it. I found a bunch of the bacon in the corner. So I'm gonna try the beef with the bacon. That's a completely different bite with that bacon in there because you can really taste the crunch from that bacon. It's really crispy and more of a smoke flavor. Blending in with a sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. Again though, I'd like to have just a little more barbecue sauce. All right, I guess I'll try this caramel apple pancake. Put a little whipped cream on the end. All right guys, first thing, that is sweet. So if you don't like a sweet breakfast, you're not gonna like that. It all goes well together. The pancake was done well, it's light and fluffy, but I do like those roasted apples. And you can add a little bit of that whipped cream if you want even more sweetness to it. All right, let's take a look at our receipt here at Bob Evans, the Rancher Barbecue Beef Dinner, $12.99. Decaffeinated coffee, 309. The Appleberry Splash, 389. Caramel Apple Farmer Meal, 1219. Grand total, $34.09. Now, inside this Bob Evans is a decent sized store. It has a lot of West Virginia University merchandise. This is what I like the best. This Mountaineer West Virginia hats. And got some penguin stuff there. There's a flag. And look at this big teddy bear for $99. We've been doing all these Halloween stores recently. They have some Halloween decorations in here. Okay, little mummy. Some earrings. There's a garden flag. Good little dog. I know candy corn tree and some beanies and there's a Halloween flag on this side with a few yard stakes big section on cows and pigs back here I guess since you're down on the farm they have to have some farm animals in here and home is where the chickens are and they're starting to get some fall items in here. There's turkeys. Look at that turkey. There's the rest of the gift shop all around this way. And there's Bobby standing over there waiting to pay. If you guys want to know what this turkey cost, he is $30. Well, we just left Bob Evans after trying out their new fall menu. What did you think about the new breakfast items? I got the caramel apple pancakes. They were light and fluffy. They put plenty of the apples on top of the pancake with the caramel drizzle. Now, if you're someone that doesn't like a sweet breakfast, you may not care for this. I did like it, but you thought it was a little too sweet. Now, in my opinion, Bob Evans has the best sausage and rolls of any place I think I've ever eaten. And I think another reason for me on those pancakes is I put that whipped cream. You did. I didn't put that on it. On it. That added a little extra. You didn't use any of that. I did. I don't think you needed it. But I don't know why we don't go to Bob Evans very often. Well, the only time we ever go there is when we're filming these videos. Because we've always had a good experience when we've eaten there. Mm -hmm. We had great service today. So I like the fall menu they have. They had a great menu. They had, what, pumpkin pie on there and some apple pie. We didn't get that. Maybe next time when we go back. So I had the Rancher barbecue beef dinner with that braised beef, pot roast basically with barbecue sauce. Had those baby potatoes in there. It was a very sweet meal too because it had the sweet and smoky barbecue sauce and with the potatoes in there being a little sweet. That's some ranch. I did like that. I mean, I think it could have used a little bit more barbecue sauce. Bobby thought it had plenty mm. on there, but I like barbecue yeah, for me, sauce. Yeah, it had plenty. Now you get a lot of different flavors going on when you eat that because Early on when I tried it, I didn't get any of that bacon. Then I got a bunch of it at the end. That made it taste different. Then got those little green onions chopped up in there with the ranch. 
Just a pretty good meal, guys. I think you would enjoy that. You could get that on macaroni and cheese. And they also have a hamburger. So maybe you guys might want to go in and try out Bob Evans' new fall menu. Mine was $12.99. You saw how big it was. I thought it was worth it. It filled me up. And almost forgot that drink. Oh, yeah. That apple that berry drink. Now, I was expecting like a cranberry drink today since it was a pomegranate. But it was so sweet, blended in with that apple juice. I would get that again. I thought that was kind of high because there's no refills on that, almost $4. But it was very good. You might want to try that at least one time. A few moments later. I almost forgot this. They have new sides. And one of them was on top of my braised beef, the onion ring. That was pretty crispy and good. So that's a different option. I think I might go with that instead of the French fries if I go back in there. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J, J and B, B have left, left the building. building. You can sure tell it's fall. It's got our color and a taste all its own. And at Bob Evans, we got something special for you. All new fall time favorites. Dinners for just $5.99. Like tender beef tips and noodles and a hearty gravy. And country Dijon chicken with rice and grilled vegetables. Even a special fall treat, hot apple cobbler. You won't go hungry at Bob Evans. Won't go broke either. Come on in for fall time favorites. Bob Evans at dinner time.